Hey guys, so we have done it. We have beat Zorora over a million times. Well, over, well, not really beat him over a million times. 1.4 million people have actually beat a Max Raid Zorora in the game Pokemon Sword and Shield on the Isle of Armor. So we're we're actually over the million mark, dude. We're actually they're actually gonna give us a shiny Zorora, dude. At, at first, I thought there was like a trick, like we weren't gonna get it because like the challenge was too hard and too high. But once I actually saw Zorora, was that like you could fight him in three stars? I was like, man. This is gonna be easy. Like everyone can solo a three-star one. I thought it was gonna be like the Mewtwo one, where it's like impossible, impossible to kick its ass. But it's actually, it was actually very easy. And with 1.4 million people have, having beat it, it actually makes sense that that is possible. So the way you get the shiny Zorora will only be from the June 30th onwards to the July 7th. So you gotta be very quick in like claiming it. And to be able to claim it, you have to have at least beat Zorora in a max raid battle. Doesn't really matter which star, or which difficulty, as long as you've beat him in one way or another. And what you also have to do is download the Pokemon Home app or like game thing it's not really a game on your Nintendo Switch and what you have to do is just deposit a Pokemon into Pokemon Home from your actual game you can literally take any random Pokemon deposit it into your Pokemon Home thing you don't have to pay for it it's completely free and then kind of just like transfer it back I don't know just like transfer a Pokemon into Pokemon Home and leave it there and yeah by the time on June 30th comes out you'll be able to actually claim a free shiny Zorora on Pokemon Sword and Shield under the mystery gift section you'll be getting the shiny Sorora there as well as some Armorite Ore. I'm wondering how much they're going to give you because I'm hoping it's a lot because Armorite Ore is so hard to get your hands on. It's like it's really frustrating to kind of farm the stuff especially since like the one that one guy uses seven of it to kind of like give you like 50,000 watts which is kind of not even that really beneficial and then there's that other person on some island somewhere that will actually take your Pokemon's EVs and set it back down to, to zero for 10 Armorite Ore. So it's like these ores are actually pretty like handy especially for that part like for you want to get like a perfect 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 competitive Pokemon with like the best stats. That's a nice way to start from scratch if you want to reset a, a Pokemon. So, but having those ores, you can actually just farm watts and try to get to that two million mark or that three million mark because Honey wants three million watts. Three million watts. <laughs> Why does she want three million watts? So yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you will get your shiny Zorora. I will be making a video on when the June 30th comes around so that I'll show you how to actually do this if you are struggling. But basically, you should preemptively download Pokemon Home right now and deposit a Pokemon into Pokemon Home or move. A Pokemon from another game between Pokemon Home. You basically have to use Pokemon Home at least once. And then it will be like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you used it. You're eligible to get a shiny Zorora. High five. Good job. And yeah, dudes, that's that's pretty much it. That's the news. If you didn't already know, I just wanted to tell you. And yeah, so congratulations, everybody. You guys did amazing. And we all did good. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you for watching.